I say no pain, no gain. I don't wanna hear it can't be done. Give always something back. My name is Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'll be back. A lot of you might be wondering right right now why my hair is slicked back. Well, it's because this is another edition of Simplistic Storytelling, and I'm going to get into why this hairstyle is an ode to the movie that I'm about to tell everybody about. Because, if you, well, if you haven't seen this movie, you are in for a treat. And after hearing what I have to say, you're not really going to have to see the movie anyway. So DJ again has rewarded me with uh, the gift that keeps on giving and uh, the gift that will give all you guys just... You, you won't even you won't even have to ask your wife or husband or lover or anybody for a gift this year because you're gonna have me telling you all about Raw Deal. Raw Deal, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger, a very young Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger, like a not quite out of Austria, but still trying to figure out what to do in Hollywood. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger, near Predator. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. Right around Running Man, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. So yeah, Raw Deal. Raw Deal. Uh, directed by John Irving, uh, who's done movies. You know, he did Hamburger Hill, and he did the original Tinker Tailor Soldier Butt Spy back in the 1970s too. But other than that, he hasn't really done a whole lot. But this is his definitely claim to fame. So, movie starts with essentially a montage of how to travel in America. You have a subway, a boat, a helicopter and eventually a car. These guys all jump out of the car, and they're at a house. You know, I'm really not sure what the house is, what it's all about, but you find out that it's a safe house, and it's being guarded by FBI agents, and these guys are like a hit squad going to kill some police informant, basically. Uh, and the guy's talking Italian, and they say some clever puns about it. They shoot him in the face, but not before. They also kill the son of another FBI agent, uh, Agent Shannon. Uh, Detective Shannon, whatever. And he's upset. He's like, I'm going to kill these motherfuckers now. Come on. You use up all the glue on purpose. Don't worry about that because we're going to get into some rocking hillbilly music and down a country road because we have Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. Raw deal. Raw deal. Uh, Behind, uh, looks like he's chasing a cop, basically. But little do we know that he's actually the cop. He's like, the guy was impersonating a police officer. He goes home. He's got an alcoholic wife, and she's not really enjoying living in this podunk town because uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's character, Kaminsky, he used to be a big-time FBI agent in New York, and he got kicked out because of a corrupt lawyer. And, of course, this Italian mob uh, did all this bad stuff and, you know, all bunch of stuff. So this, this lawyer said, you got to quit or you're going to be prosecuted. But going back to his wife, she also gets very mad at uh, Kaminsky and throws a cake at the wall. And he tells her, this is why you shouldn't drink and bake. Great on one-liners already. I mean, this is like one-liner galore. If you are if you love 80s one-liners from Arnold, you will love Raw Deal. Raw Deal. Cut to a phone. He gets a, a phone call and he's contacted by his old buddy, uh, detect, uh, Agent Shannon. He's like, oh, Kaminsky, you got to come back. You got to take down this mob because they killed my son. And Schwarzenegger's like, I can't do it. They, I, I can't be an FBI agent. I can't go to Chicago. And they raped and mutilated and murdered this woman, this girl, and they kicked me out. And he's like, don't worry. I'm going to bankroll you. So there's already shades kind of, of like infernal affairs, departed type things. Like, oh, so Arnold's going to go undercover and destroy the mob from the inside. So first thing he does is go into a underground gambling den and basically destroy everybody's good time. By saying, hey, this table's this table is rigged. And they're like, oh, get him. So he kicks everybody's ass and hangs a guy up on rafters and he falls through a table. But little do we know, this is the operation of this other guy named Lemansky. And Martin Lemansky, he runs all these underground dens of inequity and everything like that. So you have the other guy, Petra Vita. And they don't get along. And he's got an underboss named Mr. Rocca. And they're like, oh, we got to get this Lemansky guy. And basically Arnold is destroying the mob from the inside out by saying, oh, he did this, he did this. Everybody got that? He goes to Rocca and he's like, oh, I'm Joseph P. Brenner. And Joseph P. Brenner is a guy with the P stands for pussy. Joseph P. Brenner. What's a P stand for? Pussy. Which is probably the best line in the entire 
film at all. He says this actually to uh, Robert uh, Davi, who you know as Agent Johnson. Authorization. How about the United States fucking government? Hey, lose the grid or you lose your job. His name's Max Keller in this uh, in this movie. Not a very like threatening mobster name, but Max Keller, and he's Rocker's right hand man. So then, for some reason, there's like a car chase where uh, Rocka and uh, Keller and uh, Arnold they're all in the same car and they're. Uh, following Lemansky and Lemansky is getting all shot up and he's trying to escape and he's like hey keep your head down so they get into a car crash and Lemansky's dead so you have that so one mob boss down Arnold's destroyed them all from the inside so Keller's very suspicious of this guy and uh, he's also very upset that Arnold's taking a liking to uh, one of Max's ladies Monique so he loved you know, Max loves Monique but she's more into Arnold at this point they have some wine earlier in the movie and Arnold plays drunk but she's also kind of playing both sides too she's helping Keller find out who this guy is because she you know Keller is suspicious of Arnold thinks he's an agent and everything like that uh, this is about the same 85 I think he was in the Goonies this uh, year too or Robert uh, Dobby or Agent Johnson, no relation. So they, he tells Arnold, oh, we have to go do a job. We have to do a hit at this funeral or something like that at the graveyard. So they go to the graveyard, and um, Arnold's with another guy, Max Keller, and they're walking up on a guy, and surprise, it's uh, Agent Shannon who's at the at the uh, graveyard, and Arnold has to blow his cover, and he's like, oh, I can't kill him, but uh, Shannon gets, or Agent Shannon gets shot, and then uh, Max Keller gets shot, the other guy gets shot. Everybody gets shot except Arnold, of course. And I was like, oh, hold on. The cops are coming. And Agent Shannon said, get out of here. You got to go on and do this. So Arnold's had enough of this crap. So at this point, he goes back to uh, the penthouse or the casino of Luigi and Rocca and that other the little weasel lawyer who didn't like Arnold very much and made him not become a FBI agent. He's there because he's like an undercover lawyer for the mob and everything so there's a big shootout and that happens well first there's like the big gear up scene so Arnold's like gearing up and his wife beat her in his leather jacket and he's getting all his weapons he has his like weapons in his suit holder so he's gearing up it's like a montage of just loading up um, weapons so at that point he goes to a quarry and starts listening to the Rolling Stones he's like I can't get no sad this he's not singing but I'm singing so he's killing everybody at the quarry. One, a lot of gruesome, like, it's, it's funny how the, the looks of these mur- these kills are going on because he's shooting the guys. He died. They die. But then there's a quick cut back to them rolling down a hill. One guy rolls into a grind, like a rock grinder. It's really graphic. Another guy falls into some garbage. So he takes out all these guys at the quarry. He ends up going to this casino and big shootout between Rocka and Luigi. And Arnold wins. He kills everybody. And then the last guy that's standing is the uh, lawyer uh, who got him in trouble in the first place and he's like oh, no, yeah, yeah. he's being a weasel so he gives him a gun he's like okay I'll give you a choice you uh, quit or surrender so basically he's like kill yourself or I'm going to call the cops so the weasel lawyer's like no nah, and he gets a gun and Arnold poof, shoots him and he's dead so Arnold kills everybody basically Arnold, gives, Arnold does a lot of killing in this the next thing you know he meets Monique at the uh, airfield on their private plane he's like here you go 250,000 start a new life for yourself so she flies away and you know then we cut to another scene where uh, his friend his agent friend uh, is in the hospital trying to learn how to walk he's like I can't walk my son's dead and he's like get mad at the nurse and everything she's like you're gonna stand up on the walking bars and Arnold shows up and he's like you have to come to me you know you, you meet me halfway it's like you do it for your son and then it makes a walk and then they come together and they hug and at the end it stops uh, basically a freeze frame of them hugging Arnold's like I'm so happy so there is, is <laughs> raw <laughs> that's raw deal raw deal He's funny. He's he plays drunk. He plays a lot of different things. In this he's kind of like he's he's drunk Arnold. He's macho Arnold. He's funny Arnold. He's like de- debonair kind of you know charming Arnold. I don't know. It's fucking weird. But that's ready, ready <laughs> raw raw deal. Raw deal. Sorry, I was gonna say raw heat for a second too. So this must be what they mean by poetic justice. Nobody gives Schwarzenegger a raw deal. 